This year in Cambodia, some students are receiving their graduation diplomas from the Prime Minister himself. As the elections draw near, Hun Sen has made education a focus of his campaign. In Cambodia, young people are seen as a key group. In 2013, they voted mostly for the opposition. New generation schools like this one in Phnom Penh have opened across the country. Here, students enjoy well-furnished classrooms, tablet computers and tech courses. The program is accused of being elitist. Not so, says the school's headmaster. These schools are not only for children of high officials or for the rich and successful. We allocate 30% of seats to children of poor families and we help all students in a fair way. There are hundreds of children looking for places and students are selected through a lottery system and entrance exams. But the generous resources available at the new generation schools are largely out of reach for the rest of the country. Not only are there no modern equipment such as computers and other things in schools, there aren't even enough books for teachers to teach and for students to study in most schools in the country at all levels. One hundred kilometers from here, in the province of Kampong Cheng, it's a whole different story. Classes are taught on blackboards. Often this teacher buys chalk out of his own pocket. One of the classrooms is unusable, and in another, the roof is in tatters. When it rains, the water leaks from the roof and ruins or wets the students' books. It's very difficult when it rains. We can't study because the rain makes loud noises on the roof. Hun Sen is promising schooling for all. Education spending has risen to $850 million, a quarter of the overall government budget. But rampant corruption still looms over the system, leaving non-discriminatory schooling a distant dream for most.